Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, you guys. Thank you for being here. This video is kind of like kind of like an emergency video. Um, to be honest, I saw this coming, but I also didn't really see it coming so soon. Um, you guys are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about here in just a second. The Miata has a problem, and we need to resolve that problem right now. <laughs> Otherwise, I cannot drive it. So it's about seven o'clock at the night. Well, about seven thirty around there. Um, let me show you guys what we just got in the mail. What we're gonna be using, and you'll know exactly what we're gonna be doing with the Miata. All right, you guys, this is what we're doing. As you can tell, it's a radiator. And uh, it's not just the normal, regular radiator that you have in your car. This is a Koyo Rad Japanese made upgraded radiator. This thing is sick, dude. We just got this in the mail about 10 minutes ago, and it is amazing, let me tell you. Beautiful condition, and I read all the reviews online. This thing should be amazing for the Miata. Should handle a lot more heat and cool it a lot better than a normal, dumb, crappy Miata radiator. So just to be quick, we're losing light outside, but the radiator on my Miata ended up cracking, and it's like leaking from the head. So what we gotta do is obviously replace it. What I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna flush the system with the old radiator with distilled water because I don't wanna put distilled water in this new radiator and they kinda recommend not to do that. So I'm gonna go flush the system, flush the engine with distilled water real quick. Then I'm gonna take out the old radiator, clean the engine bay first because it left a whole bunch of coolant everywhere and then we can install the new one and I'll probably finish that up tomorrow because it's already late like I said and there's not a whole lot of light left. So let's go ahead get outside, flush the system, do about three or four, however many I can, and then after that we can get back to taking out the radiator, and then tomorrow I will finish up doing the installation, or another day, we'll see. One of these days, because I need two hoses. I'm waiting on a hose. I think it's the upper hose for the radiator, so we'll see, we'll see. Let me turn this light on here. We also have a whole bunch of parts right here, you guys. This right here is the lower hose for the radiator, and like I said, I need the upper hose. But right here we got uh, gear oil, we got normal motor oil, Radiator flush liquid. Um, we got some spray paint right here for the valve cover, and then this is the coolant we're going to be using. So yeah, plenty of tools, plenty of things to, to use. Let's go ahead and get outside. All right, boys, we got the tripod out, we got the bucket out. Now let's just flush this old gal. First, we got to get her up in the air so that we have room for the bucket. And after that, we can drain it and start flushing it. All right, boys, we got her draining. Good old coolant, baby. Pop the little cap up, cap off up top, and she's coming out. All right, boys and girls, we got the distilled water here. I got about four gallons of it so we can flush it enough. And we also have our flush cleaner for the coolant. So this will hopefully help the engine get a lot cleaner in there. We'll use it with distilled water, flush it about four times, and call it good. So she's running. As you can tell, bubbles are leaving and coming out of it. Yeah, this guy filled a little bit up. Now, I am gonna clean all of this up eventually more. It's just that I have like no light left, so. Right now, I'm just kind of doing a speed run with the engine, because I want the engine and the heater core to be flushed. Everything else, I can easily clean afterwards. So we're just kind of rushing this, just for the engine and the heater core. Soon after. What's up, you guys? It is currently the next day. And we're getting started, getting back to the radiator, getting back to getting it done. So far I've gotten a few tools out, you guys. This is the bucket that I used last night, as you guys saw, to drain the liquid. We've got a little bit left in there. Let me show you guys this real quick. This is how many flushes we did yesterday. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And I'm doing one more flush today, just to get the rest of the cleaner out, out of the car and out of the engine. So yeah, I already got the intake off, as you guys can see. I masked this guy off right here. And I went ahead and, went ahead and masked this off as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush it one more time with some water, get all the cleaner out of the engine. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unconnect all the hoses, the reservoir, everything, disconnect the radiator and the everything that goes to the radiator, like the electrical stuff and the fans. Take it all out, clean the engine bay. As we can see right here, I got all my products, some Griot's Garage, you guys have seen it before, engine bay cleaner and some heavy duty wheel cleaner. And then I have some trim restore for the uh, fans, so that'll be awesome. But yeah, I say we just get right into it, you guys. I just got to do exactly what I just said. <laughs> Just uh, flush it one more time, take out the radiator, clean the engine bay, and then we can get the brand new, beautiful Koyo Rad radiator installed. But holy crap, you guys, this place, this thing is dirty, man. This Miata, holy crap, look at all that, dude. 
just dirt just from sitting and then I got all the power steering fluid right there I got some coolant right there that's gotten all dirty and gross so I am excited to clean this baby up if you guys haven't seen my other videos I've cleaned engine bays in the past go ahead and watch those I'll link one of them up there yeah let's just get right into it man get this beautiful radiator installed afterwards it's gonna be awesome All right, you guys, well, as you just saw, I'm an idiot, and I forgot that I took the intake off, and I blocked off the area where the intake goes, so the car just kind of died because there's no way for it to breathe when it's blocked off. <laughs> so uh, let's reconnect that real quick, and then we can start it and uh, have some fun. Update real quick, you guys. We got the radiator and the engine flushed with the distilled water, and I already drained it. The uh, thing is down there, obviously. I got the uh, wiring disconnected from the fan. We had one right there, and one right there. So I went ahead and got the lower hose disconnected as well. You can see right up in there it's disconnected. Now all we gotta do is disconnect this guy as well. I don't know if I mentioned, but I am gonna be doing the thermostat as well today, and just cleaning everything up as I go. Now all we gotta do is disconnect this hose to the reservoir, take out the reservoir, and then take out the radiator. All right, my friends, here she is in her glory. Radiator is out and look how much room I have dude. Look how much room and then I got the radiator reservoir out as well Covered up a few holes here. Obviously I showed you guys that before got all the hoses out Now I'm gonna do is cover the uh, alternator up after that Let's get on our way and start cleaning her. All right you guys so real quick these right here go to the fans on the radiator Like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna take some of this guy clean these up I mean they're not in too bad of shape but I just want to clean them and then after that we can put on some trimmer store and then start cleaning the engine bay
right, everybody. At this point, I'd say I'm done with the engine bay. Looks really good. Not perfect. It's not show worthy, I guess. But uh, I'm tired and I'm done, and I want to get the new radiator in and test for it. Test that you um you had. Test it for any leaks. I'm gonna go ahead and change out the thermostat real quick and the gasket, and then from that point on, we gotta clean the reservoir, get some new tubing for that, and then we can put the radiator in, and we'll be good to go. You guys, just a quick overview. This is what we're going from, and this is what we're going to. Oh my gosh. What's nice about this one is it is a direct replacement, so I don't have to do any fitting, anything kind of like anything like that. I will leave this link down below for you guys if you want to pick it up, if you want to grab it for your NB Miata. Anyways, let's just get into assembling it and getting it back into the car. What is up you guys? It's been a couple of days since I last picked up the camera and that is for good reason. The, I was gonna say Accord, no, the Miata has been down for a little bit you guys. Been down for the last couple of days because I didn't have everything I needed to get this started, to get this finished. Let me show you guys real quick. I had to order in a couple of parts for the car. This being one of them, this is a little inlet housing hose to the thermostat, I don't know, whatever you call it. And uh, the old one that I had was uh, warped and bad. So I replaced it with a brand new one. Got that in the mail today. We also got in the mail today this guy right here. You literally cannot have a Quayle Red radiator without the Quayle Red cap. So I got that in the mail and we were good to go. Sadly, there's a little bit of damage on the radiator right here. This was just my fault, just barely. And uh, so was that actually, that was my fault too. So a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Shouldn't affect it. Hopefully not, let's pray that it doesn't. I also had to fab these right here, you guys. This little hook for the, uh, I think this is for the AC. I had to bend those back because that's the reason that it damaged the radiator in that one part is because these bolts were hitting on it. So I pushed this as far back as I could. Should leave plenty of space for the radiator to fit in here. So yeah, all we gotta do now is throw the radiator in, get all the hoses hooked up. I got brand new hoses. After that, fill it with coolant and we should be good to start. All right, boys and girls, we got her filled up, as you just saw, with coolant. Now all we gotta do is lower her down and start her up. Hopefully there's no leaks. So far there's no leaks. Let's get her started. It's been like a couple of hours. I just had a lot of fiddling to do with the hoses. I got the hoses in, got the radiator in. Looking amazing, obviously. Dude, I am so excited for this, so stoked. Let's lower her to the ground and get her started up and just make sure there's no leaks. All right, you guys, the deed is finally done. We got the radiator in, you guys saw we started the car, there's no leaks whatsoever. There's a little bit of water coming from the head, but I'm pretty sure that's just because I cleaned the engine bay and it was just kind of pushing the water out from uh, like the headers or something. So it wasn't like in the actual head. But anyway, everything's good, no leaks, nothing. I'm gonna take it for a spin real quick, make sure it's all good. I did get up to, uh, to running temperature and everything looked fine. So please smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed. This is honestly quite a bit of work. I mean, it was spanned out over like a week, so a little crazy. I'm glad we're finally done, glad we could finally drive the car. I was using this little car behind me in the meantime to get to work, but uh, anyways, we got it done, you guys. Just wanna say thank you for watching. If you made it this far in the video, thank you, appreciate you. Please subscribe, please turn on post notifications. In the future, I do wanna do some driving videos with the car, some like POVs, me driving, just like redlining it. <laughs> so I wanna do that, I wanna do some more like canyon runs, stuff like that with the car. Other than that, let me down let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see done with the with the Miata. I mean, there's a whole there's a whole list of things I could do with the car. Um, I do have a few things coming up, like the valve cover gasket, valve cover paint, and the PCV valves. I got the timing belt 
and uh, the water water pump kit that I got to replace here pretty soon. I am going to be getting coilovers soon for the car. There's a whole lot of things I'm going to do with the car. But uh, if there's anything else you guys want to see done with the car, let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, thanks again for watching, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.